Hey guys, today I'm going to cover a red eye ball bait specifically for the brown skates this time of the year in Natal. But it also works for most of your flatfish. Um, even some of your, your smaller non edibles will pick it up, even some of your bigger non edibles and edibles will pick this bait up. It's a fantastic bait along the whole Natal coast, but specifically the Natal red eye that you can get from, but you have to ask for Natal red eyes. The Eastern Cape doesn't have the amount of blood and doesn't get the results the Natal, Natal red eye gets. And Adcan Marine keeps them, I know King Fisher keeps them, most of the shops here and, and, and KZN keeps them. Now, obviously for the bait demos, I'm using my previously defrosted baits. So you'll see them, it's a bit pup. These are fantastic baits. You buy them, they're nice and fresh, they're firm, but this one defrosted before. Um, I'm not sitting next to the water, otherwise I would have used a, a nice firm fresh one and I could cast it. I'm not going to waste it. So I'm going to put it on a dangle, specifically for a circle hook. This circle hook is a bit big. I would use a 6.0 for this specific demo. Uh, for, for targeting brown skate and to, the, to fit the size of this bait. Now always important guys, you fit your bait to the size of your dangle or the size of your hook. And look at this. This is just bratty. Getting a mustard knife like this is, is I'm going to admit it, it's bratty. But it's, it's a very nice knife. Uh, don't even take it to the beach. This I specifically use uh, when I'm back home. Latex cotton, the dangle, your trace and a red eye. Now importantly, we want to use the head part. A red eye head specifically is not like a sardine head. A red eye head's got a lot of blood and it's food. A plain sardine head won't catch you a lot of fish, but a red eye head catches a lot of fish. Stumpies, everything. Now a lot of blood in that. I'm just going to measure the size I want. And remember the belly sitting there. This belly is full of blood. Now the way I like to do it, you can, you can either fish it like this, I like to turn it inside out. So I'm going to cut it open, it cuts nicely. It's through that bone, split it open. I'm just going to put slits in there, halfway slits, so I can fold it nicely around my dangle. Now fishing a dangle, where you're going to put your sinker, that's where you want the streamlineness of your bait to go because that will be connected to your sinker and will point into the direction you're casting so you try and keep this side streamlined and like I said the exact size your dangle is what you cut it and because this red eye is defrosted it doesn't make the neat neat baits at will when it's still fresh and firm in this section we use exactly the same split that backbone there's a lot of blood in that backbone split this side and that will fold around that side Always when you make baits, you know, that I prefer using them half frozen, it cuts nicely, it's firmer to work with, it's much easier to work with, and then the heat of your hand will shape it nicely. You can use that to shape your bait in a nice shape, and if it looks nice to you, it gives you confidence and you catch fish. I believe in that, especially with cleaner water. Now this bait will work both in clean water as well as dirty water. Guys, you'll see if you buy a fresh, fresh one, got a lot more blood seeping through on it. But this is a nice little size, general red eye bait, the belly out, and that you'll just hook onto your circle hook. The circle looks a bit big, and that's that's the red eye inside out ball bait. 
you can build up on this you can put more and more fillets you can put another head inside out and build another fillet onto it you just keep on building like i did now to make this a round ball bait if you want to go bigger but for a brown skate this is perfect i won't go much bigger than this